Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I'm going to show you um, a second part, if you will, of a recent post that we did um, where I showed you that when you have a, two, a stacked column chart and you want to put some of the stacked column on the secondary axis, um, and some on the primary axis, how you need to go about formatting your data to do that. I'll put a link to that in the show notes. Um, but today we have a question that's similar to that. However, the user or fan wanted to know, how do I do that when it is a pivot table? So essentially we're starting out with this sort of data here, and uh, we have a stacked uh, column chart. And as you can see, T is very small values, only $7,000 versus say millions of dollars. So they never show up on the uh, data points when you're just using one axis. Um, and so we're going to ultimately create this chart that you see here with two axes. We're going to have um, the T on the secondary axis. And uh, we're also going to show you how to group your data labels in your legend. So let's show you how you do that with a pivot table. So what we've done is we've taken our data, as you see here, um, it's kind of normally laid out, let's say January coffee and what did your north region do versus the south region and then January's T regions or T values for uh, north and south. But we need to translate this into a pivot table. So I've gone ahead and done that. We can see here we've got a January um, coffee and coffee for the north and the south and then we've got January's T sales for the north and the south. Likewise, February's coffee and T uh, for the north and south and we've got those respective values. So now that we have our data set up in a pivot table type format, um, we do need to add one other column of data to get our stacked column to a secondary axis and have our amounts grouped correctly. And we're going to call this region dash product. So what region and product is going to be is a concatenation of our region and we're going to go ahead and put a dash in there and our product. And you can see, so we've got North Coffee. I'm just going to copy that down, South Coffee, North T, South T. Um, and so we're going to use that in our pivot table to do an extra set of grouping to get our uh, stacked columns to separate correctly. All right, so let's go ahead and highlight our whole data range. We're going to go up to our Insert ribbon. We're going to go over the pivot table. And I'm going to use the existing worksheet here, just an A11, so you can see all of the data and everything together. And uh, now you're in your pivot table, you're going to have a pivot table field list that we want to fill in. And so we want month to be in the rows. We want product to be in the rows. Um, we're not going to use region. We are going to do amount in our values and we're going to do region product as a column label. So uh, you should now see everything's all set up for you um, and how we would like to do it. Uh, but uh, what we also want to do is let's change our formatting here from just uh, random numbers to actually a currency format. So I'm just going to go over to the grand totals, do a right click and do value field setting. And in the value field setting, I'm going to change the number format to a currency and I'm only going to show zero decimals. Click on OK. Now our pivot table is all set up in dollars. And before we get out of our pivot table and create our pivot chart, we need to do one other thing. What I want you to do is click on um, one of the labels up at the very top, like North Coffee for the columns. Um, so when I click on North Coffee, I'm going to go up to my pivot table options. And there is a field set items, fields, items, and sets in the calculation group. And we're going to create a calculated item. Now I clicked on the North Coffee because I want the calculated item to be part of the region product area. Okay, so it, you can see it's already highlighted the region product area and I'm going to change this to left axis. And we're going to leave that at a value of zero and I'm going to click on add, click on the region product again. And we're going to type in right axis with a value of zero and click on add region or product and we're going to do the third one i'm just going to do a space this is going to create that break in the legend groups so the left axis is what we're going to have for our left axis uh, um, group and then our right axis and the space is going to break up those two and we're going to leave it as a value of zero so as you can see i've typed in a space with the space bar click on add now it's hard to see um, when i double click on region you can see left axis right axis and then there's that space one 
go ahead and click on close and you can see that our pivot chart or pivot table has now got a new column of uh, these region and products. It's got a left axis, a right axis, and a blank. These are all values of zero and that's fine because they will not show up in our pivot chart. They'll just be blank or zero. Um, so they're not gonna have a column value in there. So now we are all set to create our pivot chart. Click anywhere within your pivot table. Let's go up to the insert ribbon. We're gonna do a column and we're gonna do a stacked column chart stacked 2d column chart so let's go ahead and uh, and show you the stacked 2d column chart over here and we're going to do a few things to it first of all let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it on the screen a little better now i like to remove these uh field buttons so i'm going to do i right clicked on one of them and i'm going to do hide all field buttons and as you can see, it's pretty close. We still can't see the T values because they're so darn small. They're not in the millions, they're in the thousands. So what I wanna do is click anywhere in my chart, go up to the layout ribbon, and then over here in the current selection, choose the left axes, or actually, let's first choose North T, and then do Control-1, and you can see we're gonna move this to the secondary axes. All right, now let's see if I can do this just by selecting the chart. I'm gonna move my up arrow keys until I get to the right one. You can kind of see what it's highlighting over here. Right now I'm highlighting the uh, north or south coffee. There's uh, one of the T values very small down in here. Alternately, you can see what it's choosing up above and I'm gonna choose south T and move that to the secondary axis. Now we've got our T values over here on the secondary axis. Um, and we should be almost set. The only thing we need to do is modify our legend. So we have moved our smaller values to the secondary axis. And I also, um, so what you can kind of see here, since we moved um, South T and North T to the secondary axis, they move to the bottom of the list. We need to move our space and the right axis also to the secondary axis so it creates that blank space and also creates a uh, label for the right axis. So it's very hard to select those on the chart um, and understand what you're doing. So typically I'll select the chart, go to my layout ribbon, go to my chart selection area. I'm gonna choose the uh, right axis. I'm gonna hit control one to bring up my data series options and I'm gonna click on secondary axis. You can now see right axis has moved um, down below. I'm also going to change the fill of that to a no fill. So now there is no little green box next to the right axis. Okay, so let's do the same thing and change right axis to the space bar. We're going to move the, or the space series. We're going to choose secondary axis and a fill of no fill. And you can see that now creates that gap in our legend. And then the final thing I need to do is let's go select the left axis series and just change the fill to no fill and now you've got some different groupings that you're seeing over here so uh, i think we've got our chart completed we've got january with coffee and tea we have our right axis uh, stuff um, showing up for our pivot table um, over on the right axis and uh, you just need to end up creating this extra grouping and instead of doing region you want to really do region and product in order to be able to move this to the secondary axis and then use that calculated items in the pivot table to create these extra blank series that you're gonna to use to group your legend. Once again, this is Steve Equals True. Hope we found this tutorial very enlightening. I'd love for you to head on over to the blog and check out some other tutorials. Also, consider subscribing to my video channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox.